Okay, number 4, the diagram on the right shows a curve y is equal to x square and a straight line y is equal to 4. So here y is equal to x square and then y is equal to 4. A line with a gradient of negative 1, so we know that the gradient is negative 1, the gradient is m is equal to negative 1. So drawn to pass through, so pass through 2 point which is 0, 2 and k. No, intersect the curve, okay. So it intersect the curve at k. Find the coordinates of k. So now we have the gradient and we have one point, right? So we can do the equation. So we know that the equation y is equal to mx plus c, right? So m is equal to negative 1 and we have one point here which is 0, 2. So we can find what is our c. So when we substitute, when y is equal to 2, m is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 0 so plus c right i just substitute inside this equation so i know that c is equal to this one will become 0 c is equal to 2 so i know that the equation here is y is equal to m is negative 1 so negative 1 x or just negative x c is 2 okay so what's happening here so it wanted the coordinates of k so we have this equation here and we know that k intersect y is equal to x square so to find what is k we can do uh, we can do the simultaneous equation to get the value of y and x so we see here the y is equal right so this is the first one and this one is the second one so we can take so y is equal to negative x plus 2 and y is equal to x square. So if you want to eliminate y, you can minus. So y minus y. So you can minus either up to down or down to up. It doesn't matter but I just want the equation to be the x square to be positive. So I do y below minus y above. So here I get 0. So here I get x square. So here is negative negative x you get positive x and negative positive 2 you get negative 2 so i have this one so here negative 2 and 1 so i can factorize so here i see this one is 2 times 1 and this one is 1 times 1 so this one is positive so x plus 2 x minus 1 is equal to 0 or you can just use calculator to find this one so here you get x is equal to negative 2 and here or x is equal to 1. So you see here negative 2 and 1. So here you want the coordinates of k. And you can see that k is on the right side of the y axis. So obviously it cannot be negative. So x is equal to 1. So we know that the x is equal to 1. But we need to know what is our y. So the equation y is equal to negative x plus 2. So when here, when x is equal to 1, so y is equal to negative 1. So we substitute the x to 1 plus 2. So here we get 1. So it is 1, 1. Okay. B, the ratio of the area of P to area of Q. So we must know what is our area of area of P and we must know area of Q before we can do the ratio. So here area of P, so you should see the area of P, so we know it is attached to the Y axis, right? So we should see from where to where of the Y. So we can see here the blue one is from it started from here even though we have q here but the first the, the lowest part is this one which is we know k is 1 1 so this one is 1 and this one is here which is 4 so we can see here this one is from 1 to 4 so the formula is y x dy so we see here the graph the the furthest graph so we see here the furthest graph is y is equal to x square x square so here to find x so we move this square it will become set y or y power of half so we see here the area of p is equal to the area 
from 1, so we see here the area of from 1 to 4, so this one is y half dx. So we have to minus the area of partially q. So minus area of partial q. So area of partial q. Partial q. So actually there is two ways to find the area of q. You can use the graph. So you can use the formula of the graph. So minus this one or the easier way is you can see that this one is a triangle, right? So minus the area of triangle. So you know this one is 2. So we know that k is 1, 1. So when you have this one is 2, 1, 1. So the area is equal to. So this one is 1. This one is obviously 1 to 1 is 2 is 1, right? 1 to 2 is 1. So half 1, 1. So this one is the easier way. Or you can do this one is. So all you can do this one is y is equal to negative x plus 2, right? We did it before. So we, if you want to find x, x is equal to, so we bring x to the left and we bring y to the right. It will become, so we move here, here, so it will become negative y plus 2. So there is two ways, either you do it this way or 1 to 4 y half dx minus this one would be so we see here this one is from 1 to 2 right the pink one this one is will be 1 to 2 so the x is equal to negative y plus 2 dx so you will get the same answer but i think this one is easier so we can do either both right because the final will be, will be the same so final will be the same but I just want to proceed with this one because this one is easier but you can test with this one you will get the same answer so here which is equal to so when you integrate so you see here when you have the power you integrate you add the power with 1 so y half plus 1 you get 3 over 2 and then you divide it with the power so you get 3 over 2 right so this one would be from 1 to 4 so here minus so half time 1 time 1 you get half right which is also equal to so now we can substitute so first you substitute 4 inside the equation so y is substituted by 4, so you get 4 power of 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. Okay, and then you minus, so you do the first one, you substitute y with 4, and then the second one you substitute with 1. So minus, this one will be 4, so this one would be 1, sorry. So 1, 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2, so minus half. So you see here divided by 3 over 2. So you see here divided by 3 over 2 is equal to. So you see if you divide by 3 over 2 is also equal to. So we know when we divide the fraction is equal to you multiply with the fraction opposite. So you get 2 over 3. So 2 will become up. So here you will get 2. So here will become 4 to the power of 3 over 2 divided by 3. This one would be. Two. So we know 1 of any power will become 1 divided by 3 minus half. So here you will get, so for power of 3 over 2, you will get 8 because here you will become 2. You can just use calculator for this. So you get 2 times 8 divided by 3. This one would be minus 2 over 3 minus half. So here P which is equal to, so here it will be 16 div over 3 minus 2 over 3 minus half which is 14 over 3 minus half which is equal to 25 over 6 unit square. So this one you can just use 
calculator 14 over 3 minus 1 over 2 okay see okay yeah see 3 and 2 so minus 2 over 2 this one 3 over 3 so here 14 times 2 is 28 minus 3 is 25 over 6 so area of p is 25 over 6 unit So for the area of Q, so we see here this is the area of Q, right? So we see here, we can see that we have a triangle here. So this triangle, we calculated it in P just now. So we know it is half time 1 time 1, which is half unit. So we see here the second one is this one. So you see here this one is attached to the graph. This one is Y is equal to X square. Or we can say that X is equal to Y half. Because y, we know it attached to the y axis, so it's supposed to be x dy. We wanted the x, which is, you can see, this one is from 0 to 1. So, area of u is equal to half plus, because area 1 plus area 2, this one would be integration from 0 to 1. This one would be y half dy, right? So, which is half. So, we know that when we integrate, we add the power with 1. So, we can 1 half plus 1, we get half plus 1. Or half plus 2 over 2, we get 3 over 2 divided by the power. And we know this one is from 0 to 1. So, here we get half. So, first we substitute the power. First, we substitute the y with 1. So, we get 1, 3 over 2 divided by 3 over 2. And here, we minus, this one is 0, right? So, when we substitute y, power of 0, so this one becomes 0, power of 3 over 2, divided by 3 over 2. Which is equal to, so this one is plus, right? So, 1 with any power will become 1. So, this one becomes half, so... 1 divided by 3 over 2 is equal to 2 over 3. I show you just now. So when we divide the fraction, so 1 divided by 3 over 2 is equal to 1 times, so we change the position which is 2 over 3, so you get 2 over 3. So this is what happened here. So 0, power of 3 over 2 will always be 0, so minus 0, this one is plus. So you see this one is plus, so 1 over 2 plus 2 over 3, so here you will get times 3, times 2, two 3 plus 4, this one is 3 over 3, this one is 2 over 2, or just use calculator, 3 plus 4 is 7 over 6. So, area of 2 is equal to 7 over 6 unit square because it is area. Now, you have the area of this 2. So, the ratio of area P to area Q, it means like P over Q. So, here you get 25 over 6 divided by 7 over 6. So, you can cancel out the 6. So, you get 25 over 7. So, the ratio of area P to area Q. So, here where I can write. So, here. P to Q is also equal to 25 to 7.